Summer is prime time for gardeners and for bugs. One of the factors in making a great garden is knowing which insects are the good guys versus the bad guys. And Master Gardener William Moss is here to teach us the difference. Good morning, sir. Good morning, morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I came out and I saw this and I was afraid. <laughs> uh, no, that's, this, that's a good guy. He's this a good, good guy. guy? We, don't, we don't mind him. Okay, because he's him. fake. He, he is he's fake. fake. <laughs> right, he's just a prop. All right, let's, let's talk about all the different kinds of things because there are things that you can even plant that will help in terms of keeping the pest down. Exactly. And the garden. So, so you know, both both us and the pet, excuse me, and the garden have a lot of pests in the summertime. Right. One way to help the garden is to do things like putting marigolds in with your plants. Marigolds right. and herbs like thyme, sage, rosemary, all those guys repel bugs away from your tomatoes and peppers and other things naturally. It really is a great thing because these marigolds are kind of amazing. They're, yeah, they do. They're, like, they're almost like a radar shield to keep the, <laughs> you know, a force field to keep the bugs off, right? Yeah, yeah, same thing with a lot of these other plants up here, the rosemaries and the thymes and all of that. They work really well doing that, but you know, sometimes you need more, you need more coverage than they're going to give you. Okay. And that's when you look for doing things with repellents. Okay. You know, you go out, you hook up something like this to your hose, right. and you can spray it on out and spray sure. it, and that covers a lot of area. It repels things away. They even have things for your pets. Oh. You know, you spray your pet, sure. it keeps it keeps, it keeps pests off of right. them. Now, you're very into all this, all this organic stuff, I am. right? I mean, are, are there kinds, are there things that you look for that you feel like are very strongly I really work well. I want to make sure that when I use something, it, it poisons the bug and not me. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> I look for something that is Omri certified. I always do that. Right there on the bottle, you can see oh, Organic Omri. Materials o Review Institute. Okay. That way you know that this, this product is going to be no, no lasting harmful effects for the environment or for you. So, so that's, that's why I love the user. So there's no toxicity there. There's no right? toxicity, no residual toxicity. And this guy here, I spray on myself. Right. I can promise this right here works. It keeps ticks. Um, Fleas, mosquitoes, gnats, all those things at bay. So look for those all natural and armory certified products. Uh, it's okay. true. Uh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you sometimes you, do, you don't want to repel the pests, you right. actually want to kill them. Because, <laughs> you know, if you got a lot of aphids or June bugs yep. and stuff on your roses and tomatoes, yep. you got to get those guys out of there. Nothing worse than having aphids on the heliotrope. Nothing worse than that. So what you do is you go, all, the same thing, you look for products that are made, armory certified. Look right there, it says tomato and veggie insect killer. Okay. It's armory certified. You spray it right on there. It keeps them off of your tomatoes. Uh -huh. We got Japanese beetle traps and stuff over here. Okay. And just to show people how to do this. Yeah. Okay. You know, you want to look underneath your leaves. Ah, you know, this is where they hang out. That's where they hang out. And you spray. This is windy, so so you'll get it coming right at you there. Right. So you spray underneath. Ah. You want to make sure you get good coverage on it mm -hmm. and follow the directions. That's how you get rid of your pest. That's water. It doesn't water. even stink. That's water. Oh, that's water. <laughs> So that's right. That's right. So and the reason that you want to make sure you use these these ones that are armory certified and the right. more green natural ones yeah. because you don't want to kill all the bugs. Right. You just want to kill the pests. All right. There's a, there are a lot of good bugs. And let's talk about some of the good bugs. Now. Are ladybugs good bugs? Ladybugs are as good as it gets. Yeah. They eat the aphids. They eat the mice. They eat the white flies. All those baddies that really infect your your, your plants and give you a lot of problems. Yeah. You plant. You you put these guys out. They come in a container. So you can buy these. You can buy them you online. Can order, you, you can, can buy order them. them. Order them. I want a, I want a bunch of ladybugs. <laughs> yeah. You can go online. You can, you can go online and get ladybugs and a bunch of other things. You take these guys and we'll open them in a minute. I'll yeah. show you. They, you they, they come out and they cover the plant yeah. and they'll eat the bad guys for Isn't you. Isn't that interesting because they're, they've are they long been a symbol of good luck. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah ladybugs right. are good luck. Here, here's something else that's going to be too. Praying mantis eggs. Praying mantis eat bad guys too. These yeah. are these are the egg sacs. No kidding. So yeah, like hundreds of these baby praying mantises yeah. hatch out of this. Sure. You know, and they come out. It's gonna come to you in a container like this. You right. take it out, put it in your garden, and sit it out. And I love to do this with kids. Oh, kids yeah. love these different experiments because oh, they get great. they get to see them come out and crawl around yeah. and eat the bad guys. Just in case anybody's curious, this is just a plastic praying mantis. <laughs> but when a kid or even a, when I see a praying mantis, I just think it's one of the coolest looking things ever. Right? Yeah, 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 it really is. It really is. My niece Sarah has has some of these down in South Carolina. She's nine yeah. years old. Yeah. She absolutely loves to have the, the bugs come out and do uh, those things in the garden. Are these crickets? These are the bad guys. Yeah. So crickets, grasshoppers, these represent the bad guys. Yeah. And just to show you real, real briefly here, here's how you can tell a bad guy. Yeah. Bad guys have small mouth parts. Right. 
you know, they, for chewing plants. Sure. You don't like those. They're bad. All right. You know, <laughs> good guys have big pinching mouth parts huh. for eating yeah, the bad guys. Bad guys. <laughs> they, so these are the ones that you want to encourage. So if you got a big old beetle like this in the garden, you don't want to be squashing no, this no, bug. No, he's a good guy. He's do a good guy. Do not squash the bug. And now, Harry, watch. This is how you release this. This is why kids love to do this. Okay. When you open this guy up, Look at all the ladybugs. Look at that. <laughs> Look at all the ladybugs and how they crawl out and do stuff. So yeah, I add some it. ladybugs to your garden and go green because you don't want to get rid of all the bugs, just a pest. All right, thanks very much. <laughs> William Moss, as always, what, what fun. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.